I believe and you know you might be having so many reasons to come here tonight. Amen? But let the number one reason be worship. To him alone. Ambaye uku na uaminifu wake uwe sababu ya kumwabudu. Amen? Hallelujah! Upstairs, Hallelujah! Wacha tumpatie ile ile worship ambayo ina focus na yeye. Unajua unaweza kuwa una worship lakini si Mungu una focus na yeye. Nastaki ku mention because tunajua hizo nyimbo. Ndio tuna worship kwake, tuna worship lakini tuna worship tuki sisi ndio tunajitaja. But it is so important. Very very important. Mara nyingi nyingi muoshi kuku na muelekeza yeye. Nina sababu. Nina shida. Nina pesa. Nina mke. Sina kazi. Nataka kuolewa na bado Mungu ajanipa mtu, nataka kuoa na bado sijapata. Nataka watoto. Tuna sababu nyingi tu. Tunaweza kuwa tunakuja mbele za Mungu so that he can hear our cry and our prayers. But I beseech you brethren let our worship focus on him. Uku wako na uaminifu wako. Na wakati unaanza na hiyo when we begin and when we and you begin with that let me tell you what it does in our lives. It humbles us. It humbles us. Inatufanya tuone ya kwamba we are nothing without you. I am nothing without you. The breath that I breathe, the air that I take, the strength that I have, it is all you. It humbles you to an extent of where you are not even now looking at the surrounding and the situations and the circumstances that you are having. Your main focus inakuwa ni kumuelekeza yeye. I wish we can get to that place where you forget about everything else and you get humbled to just focus on God and to know that whether you cry because of your problem or you laugh because of them or you just keep quiet it cannot change anything until God says so Hallelujah Hallelujah. You cannot change any situation. I cannot change any situation that I have or that I go through. Inabadilikanga kwa Mungu kupenda, sio kwa sababu nimeomba sana. Sio kwa sababu nimelia sana. Sio kwa sababu nimefast sana. It is good to do all that. But remember even when you are doing that, ni wewe unajitengenezea moyo wako na the relationship with your father. But everything changes when God wants. Because he's the beginning and the end of every situation. Then when we, when we are humbled, the manifestations will start now. Coming out. Happening. Because you started with focusing on him. Then it humbled you. Then now the manifestations. The enemy will flee. The problems will flee. The sicknesses will flee. The chains will be broken. The manifestations. <laughs> Learn to start from there. Then everything else will come down and will fix itself in the right place. In fact, you'll, 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 you'll not need to do anything. You'll not, you will not do anything. Utaanza tu kuona mavitu zimeanza kufanyika. Why? Because you focused. Uku uwako na uamene fuwako ni sababu ya kuku Bila 
kujiangalia matatizo unayopitia when you know and know very well that maybe you have tried your level best you have walked from where you live to Nairobi looking for a job not once not one month not two months but the lord will come when he wants he blesses the ones the ones he wants at the right time hallelujah so why don't we just focus on him by telling him uku wako na uaminifu wako ni sababu ya kukuabudu tunaweza ongeza vitu nyingi najua wewe ni mwaminifu utanipa kazi najua wewe ni mwaminifu utanimalizia madeni kufuri zimewekwa kwa milango yangu najua wewe ni mwaminifu utaniondolea weka hizo kando even before you speak them he knows he understands there is nothing that comes without him knowing what is happening he is all knowing he understands every situation uku uako na uamenifu wako ni sababu ya kuku Uku wangu hebu sema Uku Ni sababu Then ukishamwambia unasikia kwamba umenyenyekea ndani yake Ukishanyenyekea ndani yake anakupa uhuru unasikia kuna uhuru ndani yako ya kusema chochote kingine unachohitaji kumwambia unasikia kwamba sasa una uhuru na haumwambii kwa sababu unalalamika ile malalamishi ulikuwa nayo yameisha ile kujidharao imeisha ile kujiduni imeisha maana umemwabudu na ukaelewa ya kwamba yeye ni Mungu na huja kwa wakati wake basi unaanza kumtukuza ukimwambia kwamba hata nikipitia kwenye moto najua uko nami hata nikipitia magumu najua uko nami unamwambia you are god of mountains and god of the valleys and god of seasons and god of all times and god of good times and god of bad times and you are god even when i'm sick and you are god even when i'm well you are god when things are right and when things looks not to be right you are still god yani unaanza tu kumshukuru bila malalamiko 